on the last video I showed you how to modify the template but while I was reviewing the video I realized a mistake that we need to rectify so I go back on a source and in our menu I forgot to make it HTML on sitemap and small mistake in your link will not open the page so if I had saved as if I had saved the file as HTM they'll be fine but since I've made everything else HTML would have been very easy to make that mistake so that's done uh, we go back on a preview and we have sitemap down there now uh, go back on a normal tab now if you're going to if you are using a golf site that's fine but if you're not using a golf site and you want to use the same template for some other niche this image down here is just an image file you can change that image file keep the name the same in the image folder and it will change here uh, the other thing you can do is change this this is a slogan since I'm making a golf site this slogan is fine but if you're going to change this then you can change this as well and to do that all you do is type over it take this out and type whatever you want in this area I'm going to undo this for now we have our articles all done and all we need to worry about now is our content so highlight the content all that's here and delete it it is right now sent justified so what I'm going to make it is left justified so that everything is to, is to the left the other modification we have to do uh, that I forgot about is I'll do it later let me put the article on there first I'm going to put a content on in this box now and the way to do that is write your content in a notepad the way you want it to be seen on the website with paragraphs and everything uh, once you've done that and saved it I have few that uh, on my website on my computer that I'm going to use uh, I have it in unzip folder in my C drive and niche articles so I'm going to find niche articles and it's be under N niche articles and now 50 golf sites I've got other site uh, articles as well and I'm going to take the first one be a good golf player this is just an example you will have your own content we select all and left click and copy we can close this now and then since the cursor is blinking down here all you need to do is left click and paste since you see now that everything is centered yet so what we're going to do is try and make it so that the title stays center but the content is left justified so we highlight the content just the content and make sure that the title is not highlighted and then click on left justified and now you see everything is moved to the left 
the other thing I want to do is since it's touching this lines down here and we can preview it and you see it's touching the left and the right columns I want to keep some space between left and right columns to do that you can go on a source code and find your article and that's where it is down here and this is the first TD menu and this is the table that we are using down here that's the background for the TD and this is our article and this is the table we'll be using and if you put a padding here of background td td line 476 text line left this one is top center yeah i would put a gap padding of 20 and then a preview it now you see that everything is moved from the columns on both sides. Uh, the other thing you want to know how to use this editor would be to make this fonts bigger. So we highlight the fonts and then these two down here are to make it smaller or a bigger whichever way you want. So I want it bigger so I can click on this arrow and make it bigger. You can go as big as you want or lower it down if you want to. The other thing I want to do is make it bold. So I just click on bold. It makes it bold. Uh, while it's highlighted I want to change the color of the title. So we can change it as it is now we got black. So we can click on here and make it blue. Now if I take it, take the highlight away, it's blue. This is how you will be putting the contents on your website. Uh, on the next video, I'm going to show you how to add AdSense to the contents. I hope this video helped you how to put the contents on your website. Before you do, before do, before you close this you will need to save it again I forgot so we go back on and save as we're going to say as it is now it's got template here so we're going to change it to index and leave leave that as index because it's HTML file so that would be automatically HTML so just index or you can type in index HTML if you want to. That way you'll be sure. Now it will replace this file down here with the index file. Save. Now if you want to review it.